y'all are some freaks. I just want to say this first because y'all are some freaks. I told y'all, I tweeted and I posted on my Facebook to ask me some questions, submit them to my Tumblr. I was like, you can put your name on them or you can ask anonymously. And mostly y'all decided to ask anonymously and y'all decided to ask the freakiest questions in the book. And I was like, lower. I was expecting like some, what's your favorite color? What high school did you graduate from? You know, tell your coming out story. But no, y'all want to know all this freaky stuff. And I was like, I can't even do it. And so I organized the questions and I put all the clean cut questions in the front and all the sexually charged questions in the back. So we're going to get started. The first question says, what is your favorite song at the moment? Right now, there's an artist named Rai Rai. It's R-Y-E, R-Y-E. And all weekend, I have been jamming to this song called Go Pop Bang or Pop Go Bang or something like that. That is definitely my favorite song right now. She also has another song called New Thing. Is it New Thing? Yes, I'm jamming to New Thing. And like between New Thing and Go Pop Bang, those are my two favorite songs right now by artist named Rai Rai. The second question says, are you voting for Obama again? Yes, I'm voting for Obama again. I don't see, I don't see where he's done anything that where I shouldn't vote for him as a president again. I mean, we're going through things. All the problems we seem to be having is between the Democrats as a party and the Republicans as a party coming together to pass laws and what laws are, they're not going to pass. But, you know, as far as Obama, I mean, I, he really does say, I just want y'all to come together, form a decision, and let's be about it. Because we don't have time for this argument. America, you know, people is broken. They need answers. You know, and I'm so glad that someone finally repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell, because I was like, this is so stupid. Yeah, I want me to, um, because, like, I can't be, like, I not that I would ever join the army anyway, because it's not, it's not for me, but, you know, it's like, y'all want me to, um, help y'all kill all the terrorists and stuff, but I can't be me. I have to, I have to pretend to be straight. Like, imagine put me pretending trying to be straight. Let's just take a second to imagine that. Because I don't see it happening. So, yeah, uh, uh, about Obama, me voting for Obama again. Sure, I'm voting for Obama. He's really a strong leader, and he hasn't done anything to where I shouldn't vote for him again, like um, any sex scandals or anything like that, or, you know, anything blasphemous. So, sure, I will vote for Obama again. The next question says, is Drew the King hot to you? I mean, I don't know any ugly people. I don't, I don't have ugly people around me, because, you know, Ugly people, they like, okay, so hold on, maybe I should take that back because they say like when you're cute and you hang out with ugly people, they like hide in your cuteness because like if it's me right here and I'm standing like to an ugly person, you know, but I don't just really hang out with ugly people. I don't really know any ugly people. So sure, you hang out with me, we talk back and forth, we post on each other's YouTube videos, show a lot of love and support to each other. Of course you're hot to me. Um, one person decided to put their name, thank the Lord, it says, J Finest asks, What's the difference in a feminine and between and masculine bottom? Hmm. A feminine bottom. Shop to Charlotte Roos for Ever 21. They wear boots. Oh, and they get the fake red bottoms. I heard the new thing now is to get you some Payless boots and get you a sp some spray paint and spray paint red on the bottom of your boots. I don't see the point in that. I don't know why. People are doing that, but apparently that's the new craze. In between bottom, well, we're we're all gay, so I mean, you know, it's they have their masculine moments where they are like really good, strong leaders, and they're men, and you know, like they're just really, you know, they're not shopping the Charlotte Roost and Forever Twenty One spray paint the bottom of their Payless shoes, you know, but they have their moments where they like they might sashay and. RuPaul might come on and they might end up sashaying away. You know, and then a, a masculine bottom is someone who who does masculine things like watch football and NASCAR and I don't even know what a masculine bottom look like. I have never seen a masculine bottom. If you can find me a masculine I can't really describe one because I don't even fucking know who the fuck watches NASCAR. I don't know. But anyway, moving on. The next question says, I heard your bussy tastes like ice cream. Any truth there? Well, I, I, I don't know what it's, I've never tasted my own stuff, but you know, I've never gotten any complaints, you know, and I have people coming back. I've never had somebody say, oh my God, this was the worst. You know, like I never had a, an oral encounter with someone, like we've never had a second one. So I guess, I don't know if it tastes like ice cream, but I mean, I'm not getting any complaints. The next question says, 
Are you a runner or a mountainer? This will turn on to me. Um, when I got this question to my box, I was like, why is somebody asking me am I a runner or my, Why is that important? But then, you know, I was like, my future baby daddy might be watching this video. It's B. Scott was like, my future baby daddy. And I was like, I need to answer this and just go and put this out there. I don't think I'm a runner. You know, I might look at that and say, oh my God, oh, that's for me. And you know, but I don't think I will run from it, but I will, I can say I'm a mountainer. Like, I don't, I want you to know that I'm enjoying it. Like, I don't think it's, like, what is it like if you just sit there putting in all this hard work and effort? First of all, sex, it's, it's a lot of work for sex anyway. So just, to, you putting in all this hard work and they're just playing there like. That's no, that's no fun at all. So, and I want you to mom too, because I mean, I keep this stuff good and tight. It ain't, you know how many outfits I have? And I turn down men all the time. So I want you to know that I've been keeping this hype for you. And I want you to know that, yeah, this this is good. Enjoy this. You know? The next question says, what about a breath? I recently ran into a shitty kitty. What do you do to prevent that? Can you inform the girls on how to properly cleanse? LOL. Um, two weeks ago, and the Sunday service column of RonaMatters.com, I posted Fleet Before You Meet. I would definitely recommend if you're new to things and don't know what's really going on, to Fleet Before You Meet. And I will put the link to that video on, in the description box under this video because I think a lot of people should know that the importance of, like, if you don't know any other solutions, you, that's one that's popular among the girls and you should definitely use that. Um, what do I do? I don't really have... Uh, I don't really, I don't really do that. Like, I don't really have a lot of random sex either. Like, if I know, if I, like, if I think I'm going to have a date that night, I might skip lunch. I wouldn't mind skipping meals. I'm like, well, what's more important to you, eating or getting some? Now, I might skip a meal, make sure my stomach, and then wash, it's important to wash back there. It's definitely important to wash back there. A lot of people don't wash back there. I, that's the complaint I get from a lot of tops, but you know, I also get from a lot of bottoms that a lot of tops don't do it either, so. Everybody clean up. Everybody do your shirt. Okay. The next question says, rate your oral skills from 1 to 10, 10 being the best. I think I'm an eloquent speaker. You know, when I was in school, you know, they used to always call me to read because I always knew all the words. You know, especially in continental reading, we took a class where... We read whole books in class. That's what that was our work. Like we read like chapters one through three in the class, and we read like chapters four through seven, which I don't know y'all really don't care about that. Yesterday, was that yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I took a quiz. I posted link to the quiz because it was a very good quiz. It was a fifteen question quiz, and it asked. It says, "Do you give good head?" And I was like, "Oh, I want to know if I give good head." So I took the 15 question quiz and I got a 95% and you know it it asks questions like are you male or female, are you straight or gay, you know so like it breaks up the data according to if you're straight and give good head and if you're gay and give good head. And it says that I scored a 95% and I am, I my, my score was 52% better than some of my um counterparts. You know so I was like 52% half the girls. I heard don't know how to get the head. I'm just I was kinda of taken back because you know, a lot of people talk about how they watch porn and a lot of people are addicted to porn. Do you do y'all just like skip past the whole oral section of the video? I mean like y'all should next time you watch the porn, don't just skip to the end. Just take a little time to watch the beginning. I and I can honestly say even before the head, a lot of people skip on the foreplay. I know all videos don't do foreplay, but most of them do, and the, some of y'all tops need lessons in foreplay, so don't just skip to the end. Watch the foreplay and watch the oral skills, and when you take the quiz down below, hopefully you will score 95% or 100 uh, No, and somebody said, that's all, a 95 and I was kind of mad. I was like, what, did you take the test? And they told me no, of course, but I was kind of mad. But anyway, moving on to the next question. What's the best position you ever had sex in? I, for me, sex is all about a connection. So I really like positions where we can connect. Like I can stare into your eyes and we can kiss and all of that. So I don't mind being on my back, legs back, you in it. Kind of like the push-up position, but the only thing moving is the waist area. Yeah, I was getting some of that one time. And I was like, 
Oh my God, this is my social. I'm called the, the insurance place tomorrow. Put your name on there. Call the life insurance company. I play fries. Or do you need anything else? Oh my God, I was just so, ooh, paper or plastic. I had all these questions, but I couldn't form it. It was so, so I'm just staring into his eyes and I was, I was just, oh, oh. And I was just in it and that was the best. That was the best. So like, bottom, me up. What is that position called? That position has a name. It's a popular position. So I mean, you know, I really like that one. That was the best position for me. The next question says, who has a bigger Wang Wang, Chris Brown or Rihanna, and how big do you think Jay Z's Wang is? Well, considering that we've all seen Chris Brown's, I don't. Know, I think Chris Brown will win, cause see, everyone wears a lot of tight clothes, and I don't know how you can hide a monster if you got a, a lot of them tight clothes. So I guess I have to say Chris Brown, and um, what's that girl? Superhead. Said in her book that Jay Z has 11 inches. So, in order of biggest, because I think Chris Brown's is 10, Jay Z has 11, Chris Brown has 10, and Sierra probably has like eight, eight and a half. Yeah, I think I'm content with that answer. The next question is Would you eat cakes? I did it once. I did it once. I was I had talked to one of my friends about it. I was like, I want to do it. I want to try it. So the person that I was, I, I, we weren't together, but we were sexually active together. So I had told him, I was like, I want to try it. And he was like, well, you know, don't, don't get me down here and you ain't going to do it right. I was like, well, this is my first time, so how would I know if I'm doing it right? He was like, I'm going to tell you if you're doing it right. So yeah, so I did it once. It was weird. I was like, I was, cause like I was, cause after I had told him that I wanted to do that, we actually had, I had actually had two or three oral encounters before this. So I was like, well, let me try to remember how this person is doing. It means I can remember how to, and it was so weird. It was so weird. Oh my God. It was so weird. But I don't want to talk about that no more. Moving on. Um, when's the last time you got it on all fours? It's been, I mean, since, considering I've been celibate all of this year. And I hadn't had sex a good little minute before then either. I would have to say it had been probably last summer. Not this past summer, but the summer before this past summer. Like, so it's been a while. I don't really have a direct answer. I feel kind of bad because I don't have a direct answer. But the next question is... Oh, this is the last question. It says, if I said I want your body, would you let me bust one on your lips? Um, sure, why not? Um, I don't really have many, you can do this or you can't do that. You know, I don't really have many, um, cans and can't do's when it comes to, to sexual encounters. So, sure, why not? I, I mean, it's not like I've never done it before. I was just, I was like, do I want to be mad about this? But you know, like, I've done it before, so, sure, why not? Thank y'all for sending me these questions. Um, I'm going to post the link to, there are so many links to post at the bottom, let me see. I'm going to post the link to my um, ask box. You can ask the question with your name or you can ask me questions anonymously. 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 Yeah. So, thank y'all for watching.